It isn't just AWS. There's a broad set of breaches across the industry. Right. Uh, the level of sophistication of the attacks is ever increasing. Uh, so just as our capabilities to defend are increasing, so are the ability to attack. Larry's message started with three big things in Gen 2, security, security, security. And he really hit home the security side. In addition to that, we focused on the evolution of our database technology, which is just as important in the context of the entire Gen 2 uh, approach. So this is a the most exciting uh, database release we've had in concert with Gen 2 uh, in the history of the company. This is this autonomous self-driving database where now, you know, historically our customers, and John, I know you know this, but not everybody I think does, is that when we release a patch to the database, a, a vulnerability that gets patched, it typically takes six, nine months for our customers to implement those through their entire ecosystem. This now gets done automatically. You automatically get the protection of the patch with the push of a button. Mm -hmm. So the ability now to do this, the ability now to auto-tune the, the database, these are huge, uh, improvements in, in the database that we've never seen before in concert with Gen2. And we talked about some of that last year. That's when you guys first started talking about autonomous database. Concerns since then, the last couple quarters, about cloud growth, which is a little harder to read in the numbers that you're releasing in earnings. But how are these announcements, you've had a year on autonomous database to look, how are these announcements going to affect uh, growth in areas outside of applications? Because you've seen growth in applications, but that's about a third of the business, right. uh, you know, cloud-wise. So right. is this going to push the rest right. of it where we see a different result over the right. next few quarters? Fair question. So you're right, apps is about 25 to 30 percent of the business. It's growing double digits. That's a holistic number for the applications business across all of Oracle, whether it's our support, SaaS, and SaaS is, of course, driving all of that growth plus, plus some. Now, in, in, in tech, what we did in terms of probably Q2 of last year, sort of this time last year, we introduced a concept called bring your own license, B-Y-O-L. That had the effect of now making a license portable between whether you're using it in your data center or whether you're using it in the cloud. What the impact of that was, was our license revenue actually went up and people decided to buy more of those licenses the traditional way, if you would, and they can now bring these for a couple reasons. One, our customers have a hard time predicting the workload that'll be on premise versus the cloud. Will it change four or five percent? I don't know. So therefore, I'll buy a traditional license, cause our licenses to go up, and what you would think of as our non-SaaS revenue, platform revenue, uh, to, to actually not grow as fast as it was previously. I, I want to talk about Saudi Arabia. Back in February, you announced that you were going to do cloud data center for the region in Saudi Arabia. Now, with the news of the involvement of uh, the Saudi uh, government in the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, are you rethinking that? Um, what's the status of that data center move for the region? The Middle East as a region, John, is a very strong region for Oracle. Um, and we will have a data center in the Middle East. Uh, whether that's in UAE, whether that's in some other part of the Middle East, uh, we'll, we'll see. But we will put a data center capability in the Middle East. What is Oracle's message, public message, about uh, the importance of whether it's rule of law or business environment, given this kind of news, when you're operating, looking to operate uh, in a region like that? Well, first, we always like to have all the facts. Uh, before we jump to any conclusion. We have a lot of facts, though. We have, we have some, and, and certainly we'll look to get all those facts. That said, um, if some of these things were, were true, obviously that would be of, 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 of great concern to us. Um, again, though, I'll stick with it. It's an important region to us. I don't want to take one action and paint a picture across an entire region. There's an entire region of very good customers, and we will, again, to your original question, have some data center capabilities in the Middle East.